All right, if you have your Bibles, let's go ahead and open those up today. We're going to be in Romans chapter 5. Romans 5, we're doing our devotional series in Romans. We're studying it on Sundays. I, I want to encourage you, get in the Word, be in there with us. But today we're going to, uh, this week, chapter 5 of Romans, looking at it from a kind of a 20,000 uh, feet level, looking down and seeing it the big picture. Romans 5, verse 1, therefore, Paul says, having been justified by faith, and justified is just as if you have never sinned. Isn't that great news that Jesus has forgiven you of every sin you've ever committed? But it's not just forgiving. He's also imputed to you his righteousness. When God the Father, who is the judge of all creation, every person, every uh, spirit, uh, when God the Father looks at you, he looks at you just as if you've never sinned because you're wearing the righteousness of Christ. That's what Paul's saying here. Therefore, having been justified by faith, pistis, you'll see this word again and again. It's, it's, it's believing God. It's trusting him. It's believing what he said. Therefore, having been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. And today, you know, peace in the middle of your heart. That's today's devotion. This word peace, it's the Greek word irene, and it means to set at one again. What God did for you and I through sending his son Jesus is he set us at one with himself again. He made a way for us to be at peace with God. Our sin has been taken care of finally, forever. It's great news. And that's what Paul is saying here. Having been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom also we have access. So we have this incredible access. Uh, we have access to the holy of holies. Paul is saying here, through whom also we have access by faith into this grace in which we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. Such great news. You know, we now have this access to something called grace. In the Greek, it's charis, C-H-A-R-I-S. It's, it's, it's unearned, undeserved favor. Mercy is God doesn't give us what we deserve. Grace is God gives us what we don't deserve. God blesses us. You see, because we've been made right with God, we now have this access to grace. It's almost like our Heavenly Father has a, you know, a debit card, a, a a, a, a bank card, and he has given us his, you know, other bank cards. He, he, you know, he opened up a few more debit bank cards for us, and we have access to his account now. We have access to this grace, to this unmerited, undeserved favor. You know, you will be blessed to realize that God's smile is over to you today. You're a child of God. And listen, we don't work for our salvation. We don't work for it. It's not, you're not striving to be saved. We work from it. We work from it. And we work, the believers that know they're saved and know it's by grace they've been saved, they work harder. They work more effectively because we're not working to be accepted into the beloved. We're not working to try to get access to the Father, but we're working from the reality we have access to him. So today, walk with him today. Realize there is now peace in the middle of your heart. If you remember that phrase, peace in the Middle East, now it's peace in the middle of your heart today because of what Jesus did. So walk with him, enjoy him. That's why he died for you. That's why he's done all of this, so you could walk with him and talk with him. And so you can hear his voice, be directed by him today. And Father, bless your people. May they walk and enjoy you today completely because of what you did in Jesus' name, amen.